I learned I had a brain tumor in a way that most people learn, and that's by accident and by chance. I was playing horseshoes at a barbecue in May of 2009 when I was throwing the horseshoe, I couldn't reach halfway to the pin, and when I tried to throw straight, I could only throw to the left. And it scared me enough for me to go to my doctor, who sent me to a neurologist who sent me for an MRI. That MRI showed that I had a pretty large brain tumor that was pretty much encompassing my entire head. If I didn't have it diagnosed at that time, I would have either had a grand mal seizure or slipped into a coma that I never would have came out of, and I had probably two weeks to live, and so I needed surgery right away. They drilled about a dozen holes into my head, sawed off my skull, removed the tumor, then put in titanium plate, bone plaster, screwed it in, put the scalp back on, sewed me up, and there I am. Spoiler alert, I lived. However, I was paralyzed from the waist down. It was the collateral damage from my so-called non-malignant tumor. To fully learn how to walk on my own was months and months of inpatient and outpatient physical therapy. And that was a long process. It was probably the hardest work I've ever done in my life. In February, I went to Cedar Crest and had my yearly MRI. And it was discovered that I had yet another brain tumor, an acoustic neuroma they're called, and that is around the eighth cranial nerve. And that caused me to lose hearing and balance issues. I was referred to Dr. Kamichi, who had met with my wife and I after my diagnosis and decided that the new technology of gamma surgery with the ICON would be the best fit for my type of tumor. Gamma knife is a precise form of radio surgery that we use to target small lesions in the brain. It's particularly helpful and effective because uh, we are able to very accurately treat um, areas that are near sensitive structures such as the nerves of the eye or the brain stem without causing damage to those structures which are critical to normal function and survival. Not all tumors are eligible for gamma knife and it goes by the type of tumor and it goes by the size of tumor and where the tumor is located. This was a very, very good candidate for the radiation, the gamma knife surgery. There are many different techniques that can be used to deliver a high dose of radiation in a single treatment. I feel that gamma knife is far superior to some of the other techniques because of its precision. Um, treatment can be delivered to within 0.15 millimeter accuracy because it's uh, a technique that involves the convergence of multiple beams of radiation, actually 192 beams that converge at one point. So the fall off dose to the surrounding structures in the brain is a fraction of a percentage of what the actual tumor or lesion is being treated with. I was put in a wheelchair and actually taken back by a physicist. And the surgeon was in there, Dr. Kamichi, the radiation oncologist, Dr. Prosnitz was in there and everybody greeted me and they explained what was going to happen. And so two of the physicists had started to uh, the preparation of the mask. It's essentially a flexible type of plastic or polymer that molds to the face um, and is tight against the skin, but a patient can see and breathe. When you fit it on, if it's just like this, and it's actually very comfortable. It's kind of like having a facial. You have the, the aquaplast mask stretched over the face. It's warm and wet, and then as it cools, it hardens to the face's contours. It's much more comfortable than the head frame or frame-based system. It's a great experience for the patient because they'll come in in the morning and they'll be able to leave by late morning or early afternoon, depending on the timing of their treatment. Um, so patients tend to like the fact that it's a single day, they get the treatment accomplished in one day and they're able to go home. After Gamma Knife, I had a slight headache and a little bit of fatigue, but I went back to work after a couple days, so it was really no problem whatsoever. This was a game changer for me. It 
made me realize that it wasn't just me that this was happening to. It happens to so many people and it being brain tumors and brain cancer, even though mine wasn't cancer, it still was the most awful thing to happen to me. There is a new normal. I'm not the same person that I used to be. When you have brain surgery, it, it kind of equals brain injury. You have to really get used to the new normal that is you. So there's things about me that are not the same. You work with what you have and be thankful for what you can do.